Truth be told, Shelly and Fraser Price looks better than Elaine Thompson here this season. And not just Elaine, but every other athlete who is contending for the 100 meter throne this season. Now I just want to warn us that we should not make these wins for Shelly and Fraser Price or these slow races for Elaine Thompson here fool us. Last year was a perfect example of why we should not write an athlete off. Elaine Thompson performed very badly leading up to the Tokyo Olympic last year. She was beaten by Shelly and Fraser Price, Sherika Jackson and no one knew that she had something up her sleeve. Maybe she didn't even know that that was in her but she went to the Tokyo Olympics and she did some scintillating stuff that was really breathtaking and of course we should remember that Elaine Thompson here is still the fastest woman alive and the second fastest ever so if for any reason we should not write her off these are some of the main reasons why we should still expect some strong fire from her probably this year it will take a world record run for her to get that title now we know that when it comes down to the world championships Elaine does have a problem and most of the times if not all the times she was like injured going into the world championships but I'm now wondering if it could be that she just has problems with the world championships right and just hear me out before you crucify me let me just use an analogy with cricket so you can understand where I'm coming from so sometimes you find some world-class batsmen they just score at leisure when it comes down to batting but there's always this one bowler that they are never able to stand up to it doesn't matter how good they are that bowler is always getting their wicket so now I'm wondering if that could be the situation for Elaine Thompson here could it be that she has a world championships problem but I'm just speculating anyway but what I know is that Elaine is still a fighter she's a champion and we should not make the mistake of writing her half because I feel that she has something up her sleeve this year again that could shock the world so we just want to give her her respect in spite of all that is happening and she's getting better she is getting better and the important thing in track and field is peaking at the right time and we know that that's what coaches work for so we could see her peaking just in time for Eugene and when it matters the most so please do not write her off she's coming with something special but we just want to big up Elaine and Shelly and Sherrick and all the Jamaican athletes who are going out there to represent Jamaica because they are all making us proud it doesn't matter who's your favorite it doesn't matter which athlete you're a fan of we are still Jamaicans and if, if you're a fan of an athlete that is not a Jamaican it's still all right because it's just track and field and the rivalry is just on the field we need to get that straight so when we talk about rivalry we're talking about on-field rivalry but if it spills outside of the track and field arena that has nothing to do with me that's beyond my control all right so thanks again for tuning in